This is Liz. I live a simple and slow life in the countryside. I bought this beautiful 18th century timber frame cottage earlier this year and I'm currently renovating it. Today, I would like to share how my simple living mindset helps me build the cozy home of my dreams and how it even helps me save money in the process. Let's take a look at the current renovation progress inside the cottage and chat about the impact my simple living mindset has on how I choose to build and furnish my home in the countryside. Simple living in its essence is a lifestyle that places the focus on the little and the mundane things, on the essential, on what truly matters, on contentment, purpose and genuine experiences. Simple living encourages us to see the beauty in everyday activities, in the ordinary, in the simple. A lifestyle that acknowledges that not everything has to be exciting, shiny or special in order to have value. A lifestyle that is about making deliberate conscious choices. If we choose to live this type of life, it makes a lot of sense to craft a living space that is not just beautiful, but also resonates with our values and is truly functional. It is about asking the fundamental questions. What do I truly need? What adds genuine value to my life? How can my home become a true reflection of who I am? I let these principles guide me in my home renovation. Simple living for me stands for creating a living space that is timeless and cozy, that exudes calm and authenticity, and invites me and the guests in my house to slow down, relax and breathe. When it comes to my house, my simple living lifestyle will firstly make me focus on what to invest in. Even if you are not a homeowner, you can surely imagine that the sky is the limit when it comes to spending money on the build or the furniture. As most of us don't have unlimited resources, however, we need to prioritize. Our life is largely made up of everyday moments and ordinary activities. That's what we spend most of our time with. We spend a lot of time working, sleeping, cooking and eating. So instead of investing into fancy appliances I will rarely use, I invest into making the spaces I'll spend the most time in as beautiful, healthy and cozy as possible. The room you are seeing is right beneath the roof of my house. We opened up the ceiling to create the coziest bedroom in the world complete with timber beams and a gallery with a cozy reading nook. I will be getting a beautiful wooden bed from a local carpenter that'll last a lifetime. For me, this is money well spent on a high quality piece of furniture that is sustainably produced while supporting local sellers at the same time. Surprisingly, this bed will not be more expensive than buying from a large manufacturer, as small local shops don't have to rent massive retail spaces, maintain worldwide infrastructures and invest thousands into advertisement. Especially if we choose to invest into timeless designs, we can fill our living space with high quality pieces that truly make us happy. Simple living is also about making the most of what we have, instead of forcefully trying to change things. When buying an old house like I did, we must be aware that we are trading its historic charm for the flexibility and comforts of an entirely new modern home. 
When I bought this house, it was my plan to remove the wall that separates the rooms on the second floor to create a larger bedroom. But boy, were we in for a surprise when we tried to remove that wall. Inside the wall, we discovered beautiful original timber frame. The future bedroom is now kind of open and kind of still divided by the timber frame element. I never planned this and it kind of messed with my original plans for this room. But it looks amazing and I'll just run with it. Being able to appreciate even the unexpected and not insisting too stubbornly on bending everything into shape is a simple living mindset that can make us more content with what we have and save us money as we don't feel the need to change everything about something or something about everything. This also includes finding practical and sometimes creative solutions for aligning what is there with what we need. Simple living is about creating a living space that just works for us, that makes us feel at home and simplifies our day-to-day -day activities to make our lives easier. No unnecessary clutter, no unnecessary extras or gadgets or things we don't actually need. In my case, this included repurposing many of the rooms in this house. While kitchen and bathroom will stay where they were before, I will be taking more unconventional routes with the other rooms. The previous bedroom will become a walk-in wardrobe, and the room with the heating system will turn into the tiniest bathroom ever. But hey, it's a second bathroom. I will turn the largest room into a combined living room and office. While most people absolutely can't understand why I wouldn't want to separate work from free time, it makes perfect sense for me as my private life and work life are so intertwined. Simple living is about finding solutions that make our lives easier, even if we diverge from standards or what others think we should be doing. Using what is already there doesn't only apply to the build of the house, to its floor plan or structure. When renovating, we might often have leftover materials that are way too precious to just throw away. Especially in this old timber frame cottage, we had a lot of spare wood from ripping out the ceiling on the second floor. We are putting this old 18th century wood to good use. The current plan is to build a staircase from it that leads from the bedroom to the reading nook underneath the roof. More of the wood might transform into a wash table for the bathroom. And while these are still plans, one transformation has already happened. The handles of these knives were made from the original wood we ripped out on the second floor. I will give those as a gift to my friends and family who are helping me with the renovation. And one of them is for myself, of course. It feels so good to know that every time I'm gonna use this knife, I'll be reminded of its long history and how it has been given a completely new life after centuries. Simple living, frugality and sustainability are kindred spirits. They prioritize long-term well-being over short-term gains. Opting for sustainable and second-hand options leads to a lowered carbon footprint and creates a home that nurtures its inhabitants as well as the planet. When renovating an entire house, there are many things we have to buy new. But there are also many areas where we can consider vintage items or buy second-hand. Today, I have permission to go to my grandma's house in the countryside to see which treasures I can find for my cottage. Giving these heirlooms a new home feels so special. Not only is it extremely sustainable to reuse things my grandma might not need anymore, they also come entirely for free, which saves me a ton of money. 
These items also have a story and a soul that I take into my new home with me. Especially as I try to restore the historic character of my house, these vintage items will be a perfect fit. Simple living is also about acknowledging that things take time. Of course, we don't always have the time we wish we had to create our dream home. Each situation is different. I am lucky enough to have no deadline that requires me to move out of an apartment or other factors that force me to complete the renovation quickly. Taking our time can help us make better decisions as we really have the freedom to think things through, be inspired and change our mind. After the first house viewing, my head was already full of ideas how I wanted to transform this cottage and I'm even describing them in great detail in my pre-renovation home tour, which I'm gonna link for you. Having a vision is great. Being able to see our future home in our mind's eye is even better. But sometimes this image in our head keeps us from exploring other options we might not have originally thought of. Many of my original ideas have stayed the same so far. Some might change in the future and some have already changed because I got inspiration from a different source or because friends, family or even you, my lovely viewers, gave me input or advice that made me reconsider certain choices. Just last week I developed an entirely new ambient lighting concept for the space underneath the roof because my brother-in-law took the time to talk it through with me and give me input. Slow and simple living is about taking the time to let things grow and to let ideas develop at their own pace. Simple and slow living is a mindset that extends into all areas of our lives. It is a mindset that encourages us to reflect on how we want to live and how we want to build and create our own living space. For me, the mindset is about focusing on quality over quantity, simplicity over always more and fancier, about values instead of trends. I strive to create a home that promotes well-being, mindfulness and genuine connections. There is still a lot to be done until this cottage is transformed into a cozy home, but seeing my vision come to life in front of my eyes and working on it with my own hands is a deeply satisfying experience. Simple living is about being connected to everything we do about drawing fulfillment from seeing the seeds we have planted come to fruition, even if it takes time. What is your favorite place in your home and why? What makes it special to you? Please let me know in the comments. 